So here we are one week after the tornado came through. You see a lot of work that's going in to restore the neighborhoods and all power's obviously still out in this way. The power crews are working on that. A lot of homeowners have generators and are trying to do some cleanup. A lot of, not all by any stretch of the imagination, but some of the trees are out by the road waiting to be cleared. The roads are getting somewhat passable, but because of the utility crews, um, still is, is quite challenging getting two locations. Sir? Oh my goodness, a goat. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Where do you live, sir? I live right there. All righty. God's got a purpose and plan for you, and that hasn't changed even in the midst of this storm, God and even good. in the midst of the lupus. Right. Yeah. Well, see, I had stopped going to church, but I know this much that God didn't leave me. I left him, and he'd been waiting on me, and he knew I was coming back. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Are you back or do you need to go back? I need to go back and I think this time I'm going to get baptized again instead of um, just testifying in front of the church. Right. I'm going to get baptized again. And I plan never to leave it again. You are working in the midst of this, Father, to bring us closer to you. Lord, I just thank you for Bruce's heart and his acknowledgement right now, Father, that he needs to go back. He needs to come back home. And I just pray that he has a new relationship with you that's so deep so rich, so full. So again, we thank you for this chance to pray with this man, our brother. We just ask you to bless him now.